I told you to go. Yeah, I've never been great with being told what to do. I just, just want to talk. And apparently you can't stop being that doting dad. Okay, the only reason you're here is because you thought mom wanted you back, right? Yeah, initially. But then I found you three kids. Look, maybe I came on a bit too strong and I should never have taken that car. I put my hands up. Look, I thought maybe it will show you how much it means to me to get to know you. I, I was trying to impress you. I look at you all grown. You're a doctor. I couldn't win you over by buying you ice cream and, and, and a new toy. I don't need you to win me over. I need you to leave me alone. Don't, don't be like that. Look, look, every boy needs their dad. Oh, what for? So you can teach me how to tie my shoelaces or what, take me to the school disco. You don't get it. You're too late. Granted already did all that, plus more. Oh, yeah, water. He's a regular Mary Poppins. Yes! Yes! Because for the past two decades, he did everything you were supposed to. And you think you could just waltz in here, store me a car, think I'll forget? My guy, the only reason I've given you a chance is because Scott begged me to. <laughs> because he didn't want me to live a life filled with regret. He's right. He isn't the one you left. <sighs> Do you have any idea what it was like to find out I had a brother and a sister and to hear of all of the horrific stuff they went through and to know the only reason I was spared is because I was expecting to die? You have no idea what that does to your mind. I don't even know how I'm allowed to feel. And to realize, on top of all of that, my dad, the man I was supposed to raise me, left me for dead. My head was screwed up. I couldn't handle one kid. What if someone got three? I mean, you, you were ill. Oh, I'm so sorry. That must have been awful. Did you just run out on you, you know? I, I tried! Look, when, you, when you've not had a proper family, the thought of finally belonging to one, it's, it's, it's amazing. But it's also overwhelming, you know? It's like, no, 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 no. I, 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 I had water. He was, he was in my ear. He, he, was, he was telling me that you guys would be better off without me. Don't blame Grandad. When you have been told your entire life, you are worth nothing. You are worthless. You, you start to believe it. So when, when this rich chick doctor came along and promised my kids a chance at an amazing life, I gave in. I mean, looking back, it was probably too good to be true, but at the time, I thought I was making the right choice. So, where do where did I fit in? Do I even matter? Oh, well, of course you did. That's that's why I came back. I I I decided that if you if you survived, we were gonna raise you. I was gonna marry your mother. I had it all worked out. Only that's not important. Just please, please believe me when I tell you, I didn't make the choice for me to go away. Is that it? That's the reason you abandoned us. There are, there, are, there are some things. It's best that you don't know. Ah, oh, this is ridiculous. I'm gonna need to be... I'll, I'll stay away. I, I won't. I won't turn up at your workplace. Please, Mitchell. Are you? Are you curious to find out who I am? You're a liar and a thief. One more chance. That's all I ask. You only have one dad, right? Yeah, you're all right. That's not you. Stay away from me. appreciate the privacy and prying eyes and all that. So, are we on? I cannot force my grandson to have a relationship with you. You're gonna have to. 
I mean, if you want me to keep your little secret, and by little, I mean enormous. Whatever you think you have got on me, think. You are more guilty than I am. You're right. Only difference is I have nothing to lose, and you have everything. Why are you doing this? Because I want my family back. It's too late. We had a deal. I'm revising it. Yeah. So, either you welcome me into the fold, or we spend next Christmas alone. They will never believe what you have to say over me. You want to risk that? Hmm? I didn't think so. So, remember, 6 o'clock, and, uh, you know, time is, uh, well, you, you already know the rest of that line. You're up to your old tricks again. I mean, you just can't help yourself, can you? You know, most people say hello before they start accosting someone. I mean, it's one thing bullying other kids, but threatening an old religious man. That's low, even for you. Oh, a friend of war, are you? You don't know him like I do. No, I'm just watching out for my neighbours. You see, that's what we do around here. We keep our eye out for bad characters. OK. Well, if I see any, I'll let you know, yeah? What's your problem? I don't think you understand what I said. You see, we ain't in the home no more. So you don't get to call the shots. Oh, let me guess. That's your job. See? You're learning. OK. Little friendly advice. If you need to explain that you're ruling the roost, then you're not. Ah, uh, yeah, you see, you got lucky last time, but not again. <laughs> I don't know if you noticed, but I ain't that same skinny little kid you used to kick around. Oh, no, you bumped up on the outside. Look like you could do with exercising up in here, though. <laughs> Funny that. You know, I'd watch that smart mouth for yours if I were you, or what? What are you going to do? Go on, then. Let's see if it makes you feel any better. You know what? It will. What is going on? First fight of the day, and my cup isn't even open yet. Do you know what? Next time you two want to compare your manhoods, maybe you should do it not in my bar. You didn't need to do that. Yeah, well, you are welcome. No, it's none of your business. I'm sorry? Me and him, we have a lot of history. You know, you should have let us get on with it. I know women don't understand violence, but sometimes that's how men sort stuff out. Uh, who do you think you're talking to? I, I appreciate you opening this place early, but, you know, stay out of things that don't concern you. Wow. You really do think that you're something special, don't you? Listen, sweetheart. Uh, don't call me sweetheart. I like all this thing you've got going on. You know, it's cute. I'm all about feisty woman, but, you know, you need to stay in your lane. And, uh... Which lane would that be? Look, don't get your knickers in a twist. I'm all about feminism, just, just at the right time. <laughs> You're uh, new here, so I'm going to give you a bit of advice. I am Grace Black, and this village that you keep cocking your leg in is my turf, so you might want to give me a little bit of respect. I'm sorry. How about we start all over again? <laughs> you know, um... You're not playing with Warren anymore, so you might want to think twice before you make an enemy out of me. What's the other option? Unexpected. Well, the best things are usually are. <laughs> well, I mean, you weren't too bad. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's great, isn't it? <laughs> Amy. I should uh, open up this place. Yeah, I got, I got things I need to do. Yeah, and um, just, just to say, you know, this, this um, it's, it's, it's just in the, in the, in the moment. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just two strangers letting out their frustration. In the most satisfying way, you know. <laughs> and, and, and there's no reason for anyone to find out about it. You know, it's tricky enough trying to connect with my family without. Uh, yeah, yeah, it, it'll just be our little secret. Uh, Nice seeing you, Grace Black. Hey. <laughs> Who would have thought it, eh? Three generations having a drink together. I still can't believe my son is a doctor. Yeah. And I did a great job. I have a lot to thank you for. <laughs> oh, sorry. Uh, it's the hospital. I've got to get back. Work comes first. You know, I'll, I'll try to put this in a notice board. Uh, maybe we could 
do this again sometime. Yeah, maybe. Well, you got what you wanted. That's the end of it. Oh, don't be like that. We're family. <laughs> I know what you are, remember? I used to love Easter as a kid. Mm, hearing all about Pontius Pilate and, uh... Who's the other one again? Judas. That's it. He was the worst. I mean, can you imagine betraying someone so close to you? You could. I did what I had to do to protect my daughter. I was a 17-year-old kid, a bit wild maybe, yes, but given half the chance, I could have been a good husband to Martine and a great father to Mitchell. You sold your children for money. No man with an ounce of goodness would ever have committed such a heinous crime. So why didn't you go to the police? You saw an opportunity to get rid of me and you took it. No matter who you hurt, you will destroy their lives. You pretend you're holier than thou. But you are the one that went against God. You lied to your family for years. I mean, yeah, I did the deal, but you are just as guilty. Reverend. Felix sold Toby and Celeste. Scott. And you knew. I, I, I do not know what you thought you heard. Scott! Uh, too much. And to think that Mitchell spent months hating himself, thinking that he'd let you down. You're nothing but a fraud. You cannot tell him. Unlike you, Walter, I don't lie to the people I love. But th think of the damage you, you will cause. Oh, no, no, no. You don't get to turn this around on me. I admit, I made a terrible mistake, but for the right reasons. Though Felix said that they had gone to a couple who were desperate for children. Normal people don't buy their kids. I would never knowingly put my grandchildren in danger. All right, so if it was so legit, then why not tell Martine? She was struggling. Uh, Mitchell was ill. And what if she had forgiven him? You have to understand. The only thing I understand, Walter, is that the man Mitchell idolizes is a liar. I, I hate what I did. I, I am disgusted by it. All these years, Martine thought I blamed her for giving the children up. But my anger was at myself. And now I find out what those poor children went through because of the terrible thing I did. Tell your family the truth. What, and, and have it destroy them too? I love that boy with all my heart. I beg you, Scott, do not tell him. I need to protect both Mitchell and Martine. Felix sold his brother and sister, and you stood by and did nothing except lie to Mitchell for 26 years. The only thing he needs protection from is you. Look, just promise me you, you will not breathe a word to my grandson, please. Uh, Scott, if we follow lunch, Dad wants to meet up. Well, again, you only just saw your dad, uh, Felix, yesterday. Well, how else am I supposed to get to know him? You in? Oh, try and stop me. Uh, how about uh, once my shift is finished, I, I tag along too, hmm? Great. Mitchell's been kept in the dark for long enough. So either you tell him the truth, or I will. Ah, it's starting to think I've been stood up. <laughs> and water, too. Looks like we're gonna need a bigger boat. <laughs> this is all right, isn't it? Of course, yeah. Although, I hope you're not here to check up on me, Walter. Hmm. You seem worried, Felix. <laughs> Why is that? One too many skeletons in your closet? No. Because Mitch has probably had years of hearing I'm a bad influence. But today, you're gonna learn the truth. I am simply here to spend time with my grandson. That is all. What truth? I'm not the same person I used to be. I know I made mistakes, but I'm here to change all that and put the past where it belongs. Besides, you know, you scratch old wounds, they're gonna bleed. No one wants that, do we, Doc? No. No, we don't. So, let me get them in. Uh, Lager for myself and Mitchell, OJ for Walter and Scott. I've not decided yet. Why don't I give you a hand at the bar? 
Hi, boys. What can I get you? Although, FYI, I have just had my nails done, so anything that needs unscrewing is DIY. OK, two lagers, an orange juice and... Uh, white wine for me, please, doll. Large. They're coming right up. You, you OK there, Scott? You seem a little tense. Yeah, well, I overheard you and Walter talking yesterday about how you peddled Mitchell's brother and sister for cash. I take it you haven't said anything? No, not yet, but I will. No, let me tell Mitchell, I promise, but when I'm ready. Oh, what, and you expect me to believe that? Look, I meant what I said. I'm not here to cause trouble, just to make up for lost time with my son. Not by continuing to lie to him. Look, I can't change the past, Scott, but I'm not the devil you think I am. Please, let me prove it to you, Mitchell. Hey, here we go, guys. Oh, and you can do the honours, because I am not ruining my acrylics for no man. <laughs> there you go. Fine. I'll keep your secret. But you hurt my Mitchell, and you'll be the first one I throw at the sharks. <laughs> <laughs>